Good morning, it's 10 o'clock and I am just leaving my house now for a couple hours over at my office. Finally, I haven't been over there all week. Like, it's just busy, but I'm trying to reestablish some some hours. It's nice because John's gonna take some time off this summer, use all his vacation days so that I can go to work. And then I think one week we might do some day trips or something, you know, just to kind of do something take down to the aquarium or go to a local beach but I have to go to work I have um, an insurance license and every two years you have to do continuing education to keep your license and your license renews on your birthday and I I need to sign up and get that done because my birthday's in July but anyway it is absolutely nice out Sarah's home with the puppy she's taking care of him and editing her videos and my videos yeah it's June, what's the day today? June 2nd. It feels like school should be over, but we still have another two weeks. We have this week and next week. All right, so I'm gonna head over there. I will pick up the camera later when I get home. Hope everybody else is having a really wonderful Thursday. Wishing everybody great things today. Okay, so I'm home now and um, gonna have some lunch. It's kind of late, it's two o'clock. Then in about an hour, I have to go get Thomas. The plumber was supposed to be here, but he said sometime after one, it was very informal <laughs> arrangement. So I told him whatever, because he's gonna come and fix our drippy, drip, drip. Help me assess what's going on in the other area that has mold in our ceiling or whatever, wherever the mold is, I don't know. So I'm gonna have some sandwiches with Sarah. And uh, wow, it's so nice out. It's not even hot, it's just like gorgeous. Work was good, it was actually good. Very easy to make up a song about anything. Henry, Henry, do you wanna go? Do you wanna go? Do you want to go pick Thomas up? Pick Thomas up. Pick Thomas up. He is waiting with his instruments with at the high school with his instruments and his jazz t shirt. So. Oh, I gotta put the Daniel's clothes in the dryer. First. You can't do laundry right now. The water's off. In the dryer? Oh, there's no water in the dryer because it's the dryer. <laughs> And his instruments. And his instruments. Now he wants a tenor saxophone. We are gonna have every single saxophone that they ever made. We have um Homer here, Tim Conlin and Company. Tim Conlin Company. Working on the leaky pipe. What leaky pipe? Just another leaky pipe. Did we go pick up Thomas at school? Let me guess, is that a tenor? <laughs> so yesterday, Thomas had his lesson. Oh, be careful with it. It's, it's yeah, I know. I'm not gonna take it off anyways. Thomas has uh, been told he's really good on the tenor saxophone, so now he's playing around with it, even though he's already good on the berry. And want to train the bass trombone for a tenor? I vote yes. See daylight through the hole. Plumbers up there working. Oh, I'm leaving. Bye. Well, we'll have to have the hole repaired, but these guys said they did not see mold, but it was a contained area under the toilet. Anyway, that's good news. What we don't know is what's this. I'm gonna go lay down for a little while downstairs, get a pillow, get a friend, and I'm gonna go downstairs in the living and I'll bring you her dishes. It's been a very relaxing afternoon. The plumber fixed my pinhole in my, oops, I see he left the window wide open up there. I think we need to close that window. Come on, little sweetie. Come on, honey, my coffee's over here on the table. I brought my coffee out over here under the chime tree. I brought a little table out. I'm gonna drink it. Still working on whatever you're doing. Sometimes it takes him like a good half an hour to find the spot to go. You guys ever experienced this with your dogs? You, know, you walk around and around and around. I don't know, like when he really has to go, he goes like right away, he goes. Sometimes it's the process. We need to sniff the whole entire yard first. Go in circles until we finally find that right spot. Right now, I'm not sure what he's doing. I think he's doing. Could be just sniffing out the chipmunk. Henry, what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing, little doll? He's so good. He's so good. See how fast the car was going? There was a speed trap up the road or a few minutes ago, actually. We heard an officer, you know, like the sound they make when they're pulling you over? <laughs> and they pulled somebody over right down the street here. And it's nice to see them um, doing that because these kind of roads out here, they're, they used to be 25 miles an hour. They increased it to 30 
but people still drive like insanely fast. Anyway, I'm sitting in my yard in my old Crocs. Not too fast. That guy was a little slower. And he must be bored today. In a little while I have to make some dinner, I guess, for the boys. And then we're going to go to the dog park because Sarah's filming a evening routine video. And that routine is going to include my little friend there who's above my left shoulder. See him? Henry, you look so small in that picture. You look so tiny. He's only this big. Henry, you're only this big. He's only this big. Oh, you shrunk, Henry. You're only this big. Look who's coming out here to visit us in the shrinking dog. <laughs> Henry shrunk, Judy. He's tiny. He's this big. I'm just like showing the cars. Some of them are okay, but some of these people drive so damn fast. Yeah, someone got pulled right over, but it doesn't seem to slow people down any. He says, hey, Mo. Hi, We are just enjoying the beautiful night. Yesterday we went for a walk and it was like this out. And we went up by the horses. This is what life is like in a house of cameras. Everyone's always filming something. Yeah, you slowed down. Did you see my camera? Huh? Huh? Did ya? I think everybody who speeds over the next two days, instead of getting a ticket, they have to go buy a mattress at Newtown High School. That should be their punishment. It's daddy! Daddy's home! Oh, Henry, go see him! Go see him! Go see him! Come on! Listen, you hear all the sirens? Yeah. What's going on? I don't know. A lot of cars coming down the road? Why? Is there an accident? I don't know. That's what I was wondering. There were cars, but not tons. No. That one was fast. At least they mowed the grass up here. Looks good. Nice night. Look at the sky. Pretty it is. Henry's going to his normal routine, which is come in here, <laughs> go to his poop spot. Oh, this is really cool because they have like a setup where there's like a, a double door so you come in this door closes and then you're enclosed and then this door opens so that no dogs go can get out that's what i'm saying right and then right there is a pathway to the small dog area. And, and then they have an enclosed path to get to the small dog area so you don't have to go through the dog if, if you don't want to be in this area but that's the water park and that's where the hose is in case your dog gets really dirty and you need to wash them off before you get into your car because it happens a lot. Well, let's see, see? Let's go. Go see mamas. I see you. I see you. <laughs> He's giggling. Henry is wrapped around my feet. Henry needs his dinner. Let's go say hi to Daniel first. Dreaming about clogs and paper. And what are you doing? Wow. Did you see me outside? Did you see me? Hi. What? Oh. Hold on. I'll oh get some. God. I can spare a square. There's a lot of toilet paper in here. You people just don't, you don't know where to look. Toilet paper emergency. Honey, can There's you catch? no more in my bathroom either. All right. Well, come on. You took the last of the toilet paper. Hold on. You took the last of the toilet paper. What do you mean I took the last of the toilet paper? Oh. <laughs> well, who clogged the new toilet? Thomas. It's supposed to be an uncloggable toilet. We need to write. Yeah, we need to call Kohler. Kohler's uncloggable toilet. We, we need to file a complaint. It, Paper and always clogs the toilet. Thomas said, I have a large anus. <laughs> he leaves his little cotton swabs all over the floor. He flips, flicks his contact lenses across Behind the room. Behind the toilet! <laughs> Behind the toilet! <laughs> Thomas! Stop shouting, Sarah. Come get your ice cream! Thomas, 
He's right. When Sarah gets married and has families of her own, and we go over for a family gathering, clog the toilet. your job is to clog the toilet. I'll make sure I have like, yeah. three have things at Chipotle. Do. Yeah, go to Chipotle and Five Guys. Oh, that'll be, that makes it too greasy. Come get your ice cream. Is that coming up there? Honestly, I feel bad for your butthole if you're eating three things at Chipotle and Five Guys. I'm, I'm trying to get somebody to bring that Frigidaire thing downstairs. I've moved it from the car to the outside. I slowly moved it into here. And then it inched it over by the door. No one has taken the hint. Keep going. I just can't carry it down the stairs. Can't either. You know, you go to the gym every I'm day. I'm from going to my workout. Oh my God. We're getting closer. 29.85. What are you doing? What are you doing? Up the air. Who do you think you are? Huh? King of the hill? Hmm? Good night, sweet prince. Good night. Hmm. Ba 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 